Hey, what is up guys? Today it's Agent J and I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, the official Viber application for BlackBerry 10. This is not going to be native, but it is official BlackBerry 10 uh, Viber application. As you can see, it is in BlackBerry world. Uh, so all you got to do really simple is just do a quick search for the Viber application. I'm going to put a link down below. So if you're watching this on your BlackBerry 10 phone or on your BlackBerry phone, you could just simply go and download it. So already, if you could see or right there uh, it already has uh, some ratings and downloads previously you're getting a lot of problems when you're trying to download it and I'll show you what I mean uh, especially with uh with the files on the, the Q10 and this Q5, it shows up as uh, it's unable to download or it's una unavailable for this uh, device. So uh, this has not been rectified at the time, but if there is any updates about this, I'll definitely put like a link here for you guys to see uh, that stuff. So you can see it's a regular install uh, and you just hit accept. Remember this is an APK loaded file. This is not the official uh, native fiber application. And it, I'd like to believe they tinkered with it so it's gonna run really beautiful. And I'm gonna test it out in this video. So I do hope you guys do enjoy this. So let's open it up and let's try to set this up. Hit continue. And if we swipe down from the top, you can automatically see we have the option to hide the, the black bar at the bottom. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna enter my phone. So as you guys can see, they asked me to enter uh, my code uh, right here on the Viber application. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go over to the text messages and look for that code. Remember this code is specific to each person's phone. Uh, my code is gonna be different from the code that you get. So I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna move it off the screen so it's activating uh, Viber so you could do the full setup for the application you could uh, use your Facebook details to log in you could use your your picture which is going to be synced to your Facebook or you could just enter your name and uh, do it as is so for this uh, version I'm not gonna put in my name I'm just gonna hit continue and see what happens if it pulls down from the server so upon opening the application and continuing, you can see you're greeted with uh, a view of this. So on the top you have basically compose messages or your chat bubbles or your chat history. Then you have uh, basically all of your contacts list, everyone on your contact in your SIM card, in your BlackBerry 10 phone. And if you sync it to your uh, Facebook, all of your contacts there as well. So to the right, what we do have here is your chat history. You could open up the chat and you can see a really nice uh, dial pad here here and the app works really fast then you can see basically your layout you could change your picture you could change your picture by just simply tapping on it. You could import it from your Facebook, edit your name, take a new photo, select gallery, and the app actually works really smooth. I'm actually surprised by this not crashing. You could see the Viber Out. Viber Out is basically a new feature where you could make a phone call from within the app to uh, externally to someone who doesn't even have a Viber account. So basically, if you live in Canada and you want to call some of your family members who live in England, you, you have the possibility to do that and you get the option to buy credit or get rates. Also as well, you get the sticker market. The sticker market is something new. It's a new feature that they're bringing to Viber as well. Every every Viber application has this. And then basically it's all these stickers you get. I actually really love the stickers in uh, Viber compared to BlackBerry 10. And this is my favorite pack. So if you guys get it, it's free. It's uh, Freddy the Fox. He's a really cute uh, little fox. I actually really love this one. So definitely go get that sticker. So let's go back. So right here you have uh, settings and then you have about and exit. So, so under settings you have basically your notifications, your call, your media, your display, and you could restore your Viber default. So I'm going to go under uh, notifications. So under notifications, you can see all the notifications here, but none of it mentions basically uh, it's going to be embedded in your BlackBerry Hub. So so what I'm going to do now is message one of my friends on Viber. So I'm going to go to contacts and I'm going to look for him. He should be here somewhere. So I'm going to tap on it and you can see the tap the number to place a Viber out call. If the person doesn't have a uh, Viber, then I could just hit free message. And I'm going to message him. Hey. So in this, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is uh, basically 
Uh, I'm gonna be testing the keyboard, testing everything, see how it works. Uh, the enter button doesn't work to send, you gotta hit that uh, button right there. Uh, it's not integrated with BlackBerry keyboard, which is definitely a downside. So you can see the message is delivered, so that's good. He is online, so I'm gonna wait for him to reply and see how this works. Also, I'm gonna send him, let's hit enter. So you see the enter button doesn't work, but you hit send and it sends like that. So let's get. So when you hit the plus button, what you get though is to take photos, photo gallery, send a video, doodle, send your location, and uh, also as well hold and talk. And the push to talk is basically you just hit the button and you start recording. So I'm going to give him a call and see how this works. Uh, for some reason it isn't, uh, well, you could transfer the call to your computer as well, so, hello? Hello? Are you hearing me? Oh, you're sounding really soft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, are you hearing me, like, really clear? Yeah? Yeah, you're hearing me. I'm hearing you really... Is it the mic? <laughs> yeah, I put it on speaker and now you hear me good. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see the problem that you were telling me about. By the way, do you want your face in the video or not? Sorry? Do you want it your like your face in the video? That's fine. I don't care. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. Okay, yeah. So uh, as you guys can see, uh, Fiber works. The the calling feature works as well. Um, so that's. That's pretty much it to the Viber, so you guys could go check it out. Uh, check out uh, Fred's YouTube channel on, uh, I'll put a link right here over his face. Go check that out. Anyways, Fred, I'll, I'll get back to you, okay, on BBM. Bye. You guys have just seen uh, the call, the VOIP calling does work on the BlackBerry uh, 10 phone. It seems to be working seamlessly. Uh, but the application works really well. I definitely recommend this to anyone. And finally, we have a good, solid working version of Fiber for BlackBerry 10 uh, <laughs> smartphone. So my next test for this is basically to see whether or not any applications or any notifications uh, show up in the BlackBerry Hub. So I now messaged Fred and I asked him uh, to uh, see if the notifications work. So I told him to just keep messaging to see if any of this opens up the app or if it even shows up in the Hub. And so far from what I'm seeing, it doesn't open up in the Hub, but the application did open. So that's, it's, it's good. It's good, and uh, if I'm correct, you can see a little Viber notification. He sent you three stickers, and uh, let's go back into the app. You actually see the asterisk, and it opens up, so that's pretty good. Some other things about the application that you should know is basically, if you hold down the, the wallpaper itself or the background, you have the ability to delete these messages, and when you delete them, they actually delete from your side. Uh, so if you're a cheating bastard, that's good. <laughs> And uh, you could delete the messages, but it'll still show up on his side. So you'd be like, oh man, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, so you could just hit back on the chat, open the chat up. And uh, then you could just simply tap on these three buttons and you could basically do a Viber out call. Basically, that's where you pay to call the person if they you know, over a regular phone call. And you could add it to your messages just in case. Now, if you hit the settings button right there, it brings up some really cool things. You could actually manipulate and change the background. And by what I mean change the background, you could actually change it to different pictures, which is really cool. I actually really like this feature and is like, this is why the only reason that I keep using uh, Fiber as my secondary messaging app, BBM first, so I could just choose that red background. And you can see it looks really nice on this device here. And uh, I'm holding the phone, the camera with one hand, so let's see how that's good. Then you could put smart notifications, basically the default notifications, and you could put the conversation gallery if one item. And anyway, so one downside what I've observed with using this app uh, so far is when you're trying to purchase stickers, so if you go click there and then you hit more stickers, 
The app actually works really fast, by the way. I'm actually surprised by this. So let's say you want to get Crystal, the, the application Crystal. So then you go to hit purchase. What do you get? You don't get the option to actually buy the app. So that really sucks there. Uh, maybe in a coming update, they'll fix and sort all that stuff out. But for so far, the application seems to be working absolutely flawless. So one question I know I'm going to be getting a lot is, is this going to be embedded or working with the BlackBerry Hub in terms like, will you have like a native icon showing up here? And the answer is no. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit the like button on this video and subscribe. Remember, this is available in the BlackBerry uh, world for free. Uh, links down below. Bye.